Now I'm sure many people click on this video thinking this man would offer me 4 assets that, if I bought them, would make me wealthy by the end of the year. It'll be simple as pie. But as much I hate to break your bubble, these assets are not quick road to riches. You must devote time and effort to understand them, comprehending them, and doing some reading and sure they may bring you a lot of money. However, you must at least put in some effort up front. One thing I would say about this method of earning money is that it is not simpler than working a 9-to-5 job. There's less time, more pleasure, and more money to make. Well, hi there! I am Jules from Investing Wise Academy, and today we'll unveil the 4 assets you might consider. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more updates. So, let's get started with the initial assets. Number 1. Stocks First and foremost, where is the proof that a stock make you wealthy? Okay, so Tesla stock has gone from roughly $42 per share over $400 a year. Yes, that won't make you rich, but who wouldn't be happy with a tenfold increase in their net worth? By the way, I purchased the stock for roughly $40 per share, so full disclosure, it has netted me a profit. Another example is Zoom stock, which has gone from $70 per share to almost $500. The value of DraftKings symbol DKNG has increased from $10 to around $50. That's an almost five-fold increase in the quantities. Okay, I'll give you some extreme cases, but stocks can undoubtedly make you wealthy. Ask Warren Buffett or any billionaire and they tell you that stocks have made them a lot of money. But as I stated in the video beginning, you can be lazy stock investor or you lose money because you didn't lay the groundwork, you won't be able to discover the Teslas or the DraftKings. To be effective at the game, you must, at the very least, play frequently. Investing is similar to basketball in that if you're a lover of the sport, you'll watch practically every game and have a good time. It can be a lot of fun if you get into. First, you start thinking about what firms will succeed in the future, such as artificial intelligence, esports, and electronic vehicles, and you start purchasing stocks. You can find the next Tesla, Amazon, or Apple, but you have to be in the game. And you may approach me and say, Well, I've never invested before, and I'm not sure what to do. Okay, it's simple. I was in your identical spot six years ago, and I was significantly poorer. Okay, here's what I'd say. You can learn this game for free. I learned almost I know about investing on the internet. I started with a free podcast called The Investor's Podcast. Then I learned from the online and through their free course. And then I started watching over YouTubers on YouTube. There are several methods to learn the game of investing for free. After that, I'd suggest dipping your toes in first. You don't need much money to start investing. You may begin with only a few hundred dollars and establish a small portfolio. You probably heard of AT&T, the stock in the 5G industry that costs $25 a share. Activation Blizzard is a game corporation with a share price of $80, so it's not prohibitively expensive to begin investing. And you can discover a whole new universe of making money opportunities. Number 2. Online Business I know what you're thinking. An internet business is too difficult. That is not possible for me. I want to go to work and my 9 to 5 job, but wait, I detest my 9 to 5 job, so even if you enjoy your 9 to 5 work, you should consider beginning an internet company as a side hustle. It doesn't matter who you are or what you're interested in. Establishing an internet business made me a billionaire, making people in their teens and every folks a lot of money. Because this is what you need to know about the internet world, the digital world, and this one area we excel as adolescents. Because older people didn't grow up with technology, they spent their childhood outside skating, playing sports, and doing other activities. Young folks understand technology better than anybody else. The only problem is that all they want to do is watch videos or play video games. They are unwilling to profit from it, which benefits us since it implies less competition. I mean, I could go on and on with examples. L earns $20,000 monthly as spiritual advisor to couples online. 
Pejeza this youngsters makes $100,000 each month through dropshipping and internet sales. Finally, meet Kevin, the YouTuber who makes million dollars a month by ranting about stimulus checks to a camera. You can make money online no matter what, what you're into or your interest. If it's photography, Etsy and Shutterstock are a good place to start. You may teach guitar or music online if you enjoy it. It doesn't have to be a multi-million dollar business. However, I doubt anyone would object to a nice side income. In any case, in today's world, everyone wants to be online, but few people know how to generate money online. As I previously stated, this implies less competition, at least for the time being, and establishing an internet business is not too difficult. For example, three years ago, I was penniless, working as a truck driver, and wishing to develop an internet business. So I was listening to this guy named Jeremy who has a website called Financial Education and he was talking about how to make money online. I decided to take the plunge and put myself out there a little. My online business became a full-time job after a year. It currently generates roughly 10 full-times earnings per year after 3 years. So gentlemen, you may start an online business that is something I can attest to. Number 3. Real Estate Okay, this one is more difficult to get into the first place because you must have a deposit saved up to purchase a property even if you may borrow up to 80% of the amount needed. It is an asset that may make you wealthy. Most wealthy people possess real estate in some manner. But you already know that you may start from scratch with no money. For example, Graham Stephan began his career as a real estate agent selling homes. He subsequently moved on to investing after accumulating some funds. And I have to admit, I'm planning on buying some real estate soon and I just attended a couple of auctions where I lost but the real estate agent side of things seems like a lot of fun. With everyone selling properties, there was a boss in the air. There's a genuine sense of belonging here. It's also incredibly sociable. Being an agent also provides you with insider information. You learn the genuine word of each home, know precisely what to look for in a property, and know how to negotiate a good bargain. If you don't have the money to buy a property, you may try becoming an agent. Otherwise, you have the option of investing in a right. The term right refers to real estate investment trust. It's essentially a stock that invests in real estate. Seritage Growth Property Stock, which costs roughly $15 a share and invests in shopping, eating, and entertainment real estate, is an example of a far less expensive means of investing in property or Armanda Hoffler Stock, which is $9 per share and invests in office buildings. So it's a lower cost option for the average consumer to get into real estate. However, if you genuinely want to make money with real estate, you must become an independent owner. Grant Cordon, Trump, and the rest of the group are real estate investors. You don't have to be as wealthy as they are, but owning one or two properties may provide thousands of dollars in monthly revenue. Number 4. Commodities Water, oil, and gold are limited resources. We only have certain number of things in the world, especially water, and owning something with an infinite amount is usually a good investment. Another advantage of certain commodities is that they provide significant tax benefits. Oil materials cost for drilling, for example, are fully deductible. As a result, there are significant advantages to commodities investments like this. Bitcoin is another commodity to consider holding. Yes, it's a currency, but it's also a commodity. There is a lot of potential money to be generated if Bitcoin continues to increase in popularity and more individuals accept its practical application. But there's no denying that Bitcoin is volatile, especially compared to the other assets I've discussed. The difference between the affluent and the poor is that the poor say, get a stable job and work your way to the carpet ladder. Wear your suit and tie every 9am to 5pm. You'll make some money. The wealthy, on the other hand, advise working for assets so that you may earn money while sleeping. When you have the opportunity, invest in stocks, commodities, and real estate. But most significantly, you must establish your own business to become wealthy. And the way ahead is online, the chance is present. Nevertheless, most people would not take advantage of it. What are the assets you might want to consider buying? Please share your insights in the comment below. Thank you for watching. And again, this is Jules, your host for today, saying that start early as you can because you will never know until you start. Thank you and see you on the next one.